In Iraq's Diwaniya province, fields lie empty for lack of water. The country is facing an unusually harsh drought this year. So harsh that in mid-June, the Agriculture Ministry suspended the cultivation of rice, corn and other cereals, which need large quantities of water, leaving local farmers furious over the decision. Do they want us to die? I want to cultivate the vegetables and the wheat. Are we supposed to go beg in the streets? Among the crops at risk is amber rice, dubbed royal rice by Iraqis. The long grain variety takes its name from its aroma, similar to that of amber resin. It's the best type of rice in Iraq. Before, we'd export it to Gulf states and even Syria and Lebanon, because this rice is different in terms of taste and fragrance. More than 70 percent of the amber crop is grown here in Diwaniya and neighboring Najaf province. In total, the variety makes up over a third of the 100,000 tons of rice grown in Iraq every year. The Agriculture Ministry's decision to slash crops this season comes as the country's water resources continue to dwindle. Amber rice is excellent quality rice. It's good for the economy of the state and the consumption of citizens. Now, because of the water shortage, look at the state of our land, our economic status, our livelihood. Our lives depend on agriculture. The government says it will compensate farmers, particularly rice producers. But many fear that promise will not be kept, jeopardizing the centuries-long tradition of growing the amber variety and its treasured place on tables all across the country.